So what we have here is a regular exercise bike, but it is not a regular exercise bike anymore because there are strain gauge sensors attached to the crank arms. In fact, what I'm holding right here is what is doing all of the magic. Um, now, I have Andrew from Analog Devices here who's going to give us a little bit more of a deeper explanation while I continue pedaling in the background. <laughs> Hello. So in this demonstration, we are using two strain gauges attached to this crank arm. And strain gauge is a wide and a Wheatstone bridge here and here. And there's a small differential voltage which is generated from the strain gauges. This is amplified using the max 41400 instrumentation amplifier. Then the amplified signal is sampled with a max 11108 ADC. And then the max 32666 microcontroller unit uh, takes those four samples plus some gyroscope samples and cap, uh, sends the raw data via Bluetooth low energy to uh, an Android tablet here, which is running software that calculates the power uh, that the cyclist is outputting as they ride the bike. So, and, uh, and, and if you want to come around here quickly, Rich, this is uh, what we're talking about right now. Oh, I want to say thank you as well for making the explanation quite short because otherwise I'd be sweating buckets. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the power meter and this is where the information from the strain gauge is getting sent uh, from my feet. And uh, you know what I could have done to make this easy for myself is turn it down, but I didn't. <laughs> um, but yes, it's really nice to see uh, the, I, you know, the, we see a lot of kind of circuit diagrams, we see a lot of the ways things fit together, but to see a, well, not simple, but a great way that you can actually take something that already exists and then add a few components to it and make something smart that wasn't smart before. I'm literally getting out of breath. I think I have to stop now. <laughs>